Hello, this is part three of my little tutorial and tips for oven dyeing with acid dyes. These are protein fibers. This is Eve Star with Eve Star Fiber Arts. This tray is really gorgeous. Um, I love the golden brown and the the pine green and the spruce and then the sky blue and the intense turquoise. This is made for um, interpreting my mountain home. I live in a forest. The Ozark National Forest is right next to us in uh, the Ozarks and we go outside and we're in the woods. And so um, the next hoods that I'm going to be making, which are inspired by Frozen and other fairy tales, uh, this will be for the woods and we'll have like this golden brown color. Uh, this is a uh, merino. This is actually superwash merino because it's for my shop. And items that I make like that can be for kids or for well, people want to be able to hand wash it. So they don't want to worry about felting. Now, I love non-superwash wools because I use it like glue. It's nice and sticky when I'm weaving, especially for my selvages. Uh, it's nice to get it to stick together a little bit. But this is superwash. But I wanted to show you how those colors turned out. And again, if you look, there's very little color in here. Now, this one's still a little bit warm. These just came out of the oven. So I'm going to let it sit till it's completely cool. But there will be very little color left over. And this brown is actually Wilton's gel that you use for cake decorating. And if you soak your fiber in vinegar, then any color you put in there becomes an acid dye. And it's able to strike and bond with the fiber. So we'll be showing you the, how this turns out after I've carded and uh, put, made it into roll eggs and then spun it. So stay tuned. This was part three. There'll be several more parts. So this is my, uh, let's see, I guess we'll call it the oven dyeing, washing, uh, carding, and spinning tutorial. See y'all soon.